This is a tutorial to explain the naming format used for rolling stock contributed to the UK train sim freeware packs. The uh, finer details of how to um, reskin locomotives will not be covered by this video um, as that's far too complex but we will create a very very basic reskin in the process. So the first thing I'm going to do is load up my assets folder for Railworks and we're going to do a reskin of a class 37. So go Kuju, Rail Simulator, Rail Vehicles, Diesel, Class 37. And we're going to reskin the BR Blue, so we simply press Ctrl and C, followed by Ctrl and V, to copy and paste that folder. Once it's finished copying, we'll get our new folder, and we need to rename that folder to something more appropriate. We're going to use example reskin. If we have a look inside that folder and then inside the engine folder we'll see a number of files but the only one we're really interested in uh, in terms of the naming format we need to use is class37.bin. So I'm going to uh, launch RW Tools and then I'm, we're going to copy that path here by using Control and C and then file open Control and V to paste and then we can select the class 37 bin file you could have just navigated through the folder structure again but it's quicker to control uh, C and Control V so copy and paste the path that you need I prefer to use the uh, highlight mode of RW tools and here we have at the top the first um, entry we need to change. All content submitted to a UK train sim freeware pack must start with the letters FP for freeware pack. This makes it very easy for people to identify and to find uh, content that is part of the, of the uh, packs. The next thing we need is my unique ID. For me this is JN. The unique ID ensures that no two assets have the same internal or in-game name. Railworks will only show one asset if two things have an, have an identical name. Finally, I'm just going to give my asset a new name, so my locomotive will be class 37001. Then we're going to select that and press Ctrl C to copy. I'm going to paste that into the other language options available underneath. The only other thing we need to do to make this reskin work is to um, update the shape file reference in this binary file or the geometry file. The quickest way to edit the geometry or, sh or shape file reference is to use the search and replace tool and look for the string geometry ID. Press find next and you'll see the RW tools has jumped down to the appropriate part of the binary file. The only part of this entry we need to change is BR blue and we need to change that to our new reskin folder. Our example is example reskin. Now there are lots of other entries that you might need to edit in the process of doing a reskin and it just depends on what uh, um, items you're or what textures you're going to be editing. For the moment this is enough to get us going so I'm going to save this file and then we're going to close down RW tools. Now the next thing we're going to do is load up Railworks and have a look at this reskin in game to show you that how the name appears in the um, locomotive selection panel. But just before we do that, to make the reskin appear in game we need to delete the blueprints cache. Now we could do that within the um, Railworks uh, launcher menu, but that will delete all blueprint caches and make it uh, Railworks take a lot longer to load. So I'm simply going to delete the one blueprint cache from the Kuju Rail Simulator folder, which is all that's needed to make our reskin appear in game. So now let's load up Railworks and see if our engine appears. So here we are with Railworks open 
and we're going to quickly create a new scenario so that we can confirm that the new uh, reskin loads in game. So we'll choose the test route and we'll choose scenario editor and then new scenario. I'm just going to create a free room, a free roam rather, at the root origin and then we click create scenario and give it a name. So here we are, the scenario is loaded. Let's just pin out this middle panel, select the locomotives and scroll down to FP JN class 3701 and there you have it our reskinned locomotive in game. All we need to do now is adjust the texture files relating to that locomotive and our reskin is complete. That's the end of this tutorial.